Previously on the bill. Do you have any idea on him? No. Keep your big mouth shut because I'm not going to let you destroy my future. Do you understand me? This is your station, Adam. You should be back here running it. The only thing I'm guilty of is falling in love with a sick, evil man. Gabriel! Oh, didn't know you was here. Yeah, I've been sitting next to the mystery man all night. You're not here to take over from me, are you? No, no, I was just wondering how the poor bloke was doing, that's all. No improvement, he's still on the critical list. And he hasn't regained consciousness, and so nobody's been able to identify him. Right. You okay? Must have been terrible seeing him get shot like that. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking to him a couple of minutes before it all happened. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, eh? Are you here to take over from me? Yes, I am. Fantastic. I'm going to go and see Dan before I go home. The doctor says he's fine. It's just a flesh wound. Luckier than this bloke, eh? Yeah. Well, let's just hope he wakes up. At least that way we'll find out who he is. See. Now, doubtless you're all aware we're going to be the subject of an investigation carried out by officers from the Independent Police Complaints Commission. They're in the station today and we'll be interviewing everyone connected with the armed siege. Sergeant Smith will be liaising with them and will tell each one of you when they want to see you. Sorry, sir, but what exactly is it they're trying to find out? They just want to satisfy themselves that there was nothing we could have done to prevent what happened. And they also want to put a name to the man who got caught in the crossfire. He wasn't carrying any ID, but CCTV shows him making a call on a mobile, but that seems to have gone missing in the mayhem. Any more questions? Any word on Inspector Gold, sir? I'm still waiting to hear from the DPS. But I can tell you that the Borough Commander has recommended that her suspension be lifted. More than that, I can't say at this time. Let's hope for a better day today. PC Bryan, you finished writing up that report? Yes, Sarge. Then you can be first up with the IPCC, 9 o'clock, interview room. That sounds like a lot of fun. Just yeah. tell them what you saw, and you'll be fine. Pete, you've got a sec. Are you sure you're all right? You seemed really shaken up yesterday. Well, it wasn't exactly your average day at the office, was it? I'm fine now. Don't worry. Gabriel, you're working with me today. Right. See you later. See ya. I don't know what the IPCC are expecting to find out that they didn't know already. Jeff Clark walked in here waving a gun about, took hostages and then ended up getting shot. What could anyone have done to prevent it, eh? Give us a sec, will you? I want to get something from my locker. See you in the yard, then? Yeah. Oh, you're a bit late, aren't you? Yeah, tell me about it. Anyone knows I wasn't at the briefing? Not that I heard. Who's he, Ken? I thought you were on your way out. On my way, Sarge. Just grabbing a couple of headache pills. You okay? Yeah. Coping. Good. Now, I know you were on the front line yesterday, but if you're not feeling too clever, let me know. How very nice of you to join us, PC pal. Sorry, Sarge. Now, I know yesterday wasn't exactly your average shift, but everybody else seemed to turn up on time. Yes, Sarge. Right. Get yourself changed, pair up your shoe, love, and get out on the beach. Thanks, love. Cheers. It's OK, mate. The ammunition's on its way. Anyone know him? Sierra Oscar from 437. Over you again. ETA, please, on the ambulance to Brooker Street. Over. Sierra Oscar to 437. I'll see what I can find out. Received. He's losing consciousness. Permanadine. My prescription label. Do you think this might have caused this collapse? We better give it to the paramedics just in case. Let's hope it gets here soon, eh? 
Keith Wilkins, 36 ALS Square. It's okay, mate. Won't be long. I'm looking for the Keith Wilkins of Rock Court. Sylvie Prentice. Where is he? Is he all right? Keith? Um, would you like to come this way? Look, he's not going to die, is he? No, but it was touch and go for a while. Well, what happened? Doctors think he's had a severe allergic reaction. Some tablets were found on him. Permaladine? Well, what's that? I was hoping you could tell me. There was no prescription label on the box. Do you know where you may have gotten them from? No, I've no idea. You and Keith live together, right? Yes. Is he taking any kind of medication that you know of? No. So why was he carrying these tablets? Look, I don't know. You'd have to ask Keith. That might be a bit difficult right now. He's a good point. Excuse me. According to the pharmacist, the tablets are antidepressants. Only available on prescription. He also says they've been withdrawn from the market. Why? What's wrong with them? Apparently not up to standard. The tablets contain traces of another drug, metrocycline. It can also cause a severe allergic reaction. Looks like that's what's happened to Keith. Sylvie says he's not taking any medication. Well, not everyone buys their drugs over the counter. Maybe there's someone out there who's seen the chance to make a quick buck and start flogging them off. That's uh, Sylvie. Keith's girlfriend. PC Kent. Sylvie, have you ever known Keith to use illegal drugs? What do you mean? These tablets could have killed Keith. And if he has bought them illegally, we need to find whoever sold them to him before anyone else is put in danger. So you think there could be more of them? Maybe. Look, you're not in any trouble. And you're not dropping Keith in it, if that's what you're worried about. But if these drugs are still in circulation, we need to trace them. The next person mightn't be as lucky as Keith. There's a guy called Ali. He sells Keith's stuff now and again. Dope mostly, ease, coke if we can afford it. And where does this alley live? He's got a flat in Baldock House, on Brooker Street. That's near where your boyfriend collapsed. Thanks. We'd better hand this over to CID. Yeah. The malady. Yeah, it's manufactured by a company called King's Clear Pharmaceuticals, or at least it was, until the Medicines and Healthcare Regulatory Agency pulled the plug on it. On what grounds? Well, basically, King's Clear Quality Control is non-existent. Some of the medicines they produce were contaminated with a drug called metrocycline. Now, that's an antibiotic drug that can provoke severe allergic reaction. They should have been taken off the shelves. Well, they were, Gov. The MHRA issued a Class 2 drug alert, and everything made by King's Clear was called in within 48 hours, including permaladine. All the tablets were accounted for and sent to an incineration plant. They were sent off, but the officer didn't get there. Can I have that file? Thanks. Uniform have identified the probable suspect, a dealer by the name of Ali Hakimi, with previous for possession of Class A drugs with intent to supply. Right, well, we need to get these drugs off the streets as soon as possible. That CID are up to the next with these IPCC interviews. Get some uniform back up and get down at this Hakimi's place. See if you can find the rest of the drugs before he flogs a lot off. Gov. Nice try. Personal use, you still mix. Let's take him in. Hey! Shut up! Get out! Go on! You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on. Yes, Sarge. How'd you get on in there? Oh, not much I could tell them, really. Except about our poor gunshot victim. Do they know Reeves yet? No, just some nutter as far as I can tell. What makes you say that? Well, Raymond said his name was Gabriel Kent. He said what? I oh, know, that was pretty much my reaction. Said he wanted to speak to Sergeant Ackland, but she wasn't around. Then what happened? I've just told all this to the IPCC. Well, now you can tell me. PC Kent said he'd deal with it, said he was just some troublemaker he'd come across before. So Gabriel spoke to the fella? Yeah, for about, oh, ten minutes. And did Sergeant Ackland ever hear about it? 
No, I don't think so. Why? No reason. Just wondered. Just what we need to. Gabriel Cadence. Come in. Sir. Close the door. Problem, sir? You could say that. Courtesy of the London Post. Oh, no. Kath Wilson, now known as Leslie Palmer. I gather you're her contact officer. I don't believe this. She's only just been released from prison, given a new identity. With good reason. As far as the public are concerned, she and Stuart Jensen are fair game. Well, they serve their time, sir. That doesn't change the fact that they killed a child and they were always suspected of the murder of another. Well, the Stimson boy's body was never actually found. There's little doubt whatever happened to him, they were behind it. Are they going to run this in tonight's edition? Not if I can help it. Well, it's too good a story to just sit on. One of Britain's most notorious child killers. Enjoying a shopping trip in Sun Hill, you're telling me. Question is, how did they find her? The whole point of bringing her here was to keep her new identity intact. I know, and I have asked her to keep a low profile, sir. Fact is, the public have been seeing this woman's face in the national press for the last 20 years, no matter how much her appearance has changed. Someone may simply have recognised her. What do you want me to do, sir? Talk to her. Explain the situation, find out what she knows, who she's been talking to. In the meantime, I'll talk to Riley, the journalist who sent us this photo. See how he got hold of it. Sir. When can I go? We found a quantity of drugs in your possession. And? I told you, personal use. Search team still going through your premises. The only drugs I had were the ones I tried to flush away. Subject to analysis, six grams of cocaine and 85 grams of cannabis resin. Not the greatest arrest, is it? Or is this a big time drugs bust for Sunhill? We have reason to believe that you may have other drugs stored elsewhere. Oh. Oh, really? Do you know a man called Keith Wilkins? So what if I do? Has he put you up to this? What has he said? Well, he's in no position to say anything. He was admitted to hospital this morning. Hospital? Why? What happened to him? He suffered a severe allergic reaction to some pills you sold him. <laughs> what are you talking about? What kind of pills? He could have died. I'm showing Mr. Hikimi exhibit LK1. It's a packet of pomaladine tablets. Do you recognize these? Not my thing. It looked like something you'd get from a doctor. Are you saying you've never seen them before? If this is what Keith took, he didn't get them from me. I don't care what anyone has told you. He left this house just after 8 o'clock this morning. Half an hour later, he was found thrashing around on the pavement less than 50 yards from your flat. Do you seriously expect us to believe that he hadn't paid you a visit? I wasn't even at home. Where were you? I went for a run down by the canal. Did anyone see you? There were a few people, but nobody I know. How convenient. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I have nothing to do with this. Aviva Vucci, seen PC Kent. I think he's interviewing a suspect with DS Nixon, and then he's straight in for his IPCC interview. Have you spoken to Mark today? No way. Well, he didn't come in for his interview. So they're trying to contact his duty sergeant, but I said I'd ask you. And we tried phoning him at home? Yeah, and on his mobile. He's probably just delayed. I know that he's got a lot to deal with at the moment. But he still has to come in just like everyone else. Of course, Sergeant, you know that. Well, if you do speak to him, tell him to get down here lively. Where do you think he is? Who knows? He isn't answering any of my phone calls. I was dreading having to go through the whole ordeal again, just if I took the decision to shoot. Why don't you tell Sergeant Smith you're concerned about him? I don't mark thinking I've gone behind his back. He won't. He knows how much you love him. Does he? Why does it feel like he's shutting me out? Grab a cup of tea. And someone was taking photographs, so I'd have put some makeup on. Didn't take him long to find me, did it? 
Well, the thing is, they may not have found you. I mean, obviously, you've been recognised and photographed. But I'd be a lot more worried of these pictures of you coming out of your house and not out of a shop. So you don't think I have to lock the doors and barricade the windows just yet, then? No. Nah. If the press knew your address, they'd be camped outside by now. It's only a matter of time, though, eh? We still might be able to contain this. Depends how the photographer knew who you were and where you would be. When do you think they were taken? Yesterday afternoon. Whereabouts? I, uh, I got a bus into East Canley and I did some grocery shopping there. Did you talk to anybody when you were out? Only the bus driver and the checkout girl. Did you notice anybody following you? I think everyone's following me. But you know what I mean? No, no one. Did you get the bus back? Not all the way. I got off at the playing fields and walked the rest. Wanted a bit of fresh air. Anybody get on the bus with you? Anybody get off the bus with you? Look, Joe, if I'd have seen anyone, I'd have called you, right? Did you have any phone calls? Anybody knock at the door? No. Did you talk to the neighbours? I haven't even seen them. Right, so I guess that only leaves one other person. Oh, don't start this again. You've spoken to your mate Fee since she went to Bristol. You mean since you packed her off to Bristol? Yes or no? No. So you haven't called her? No. She hasn't called you? You read us both the riot act, didn't you? No contact, you said. It was for your own protection, Leslie. Fat lot of difference it made, though, eh? You received the photo, then? Do you take a seat? Yes, thank you, Mr. Riley. I received the photo. And? It's a picture of a middle-aged woman doing her shopping. It's a picture of Kath Wilson wandering the streets of Canley. My paper is publishing that photograph today. We're asking our readers whether it's right that a convicted murderess should be rehoused in Sun Hill at the taxpayer's expense. What makes you so certain that this woman is Kath Wilson? <laughs> you mean who tipped me off? If you like. I received a phone call from a concerned member of the public. I'm surprised you didn't follow the poor woman home. Oh, we will, in time. I imagine she's living under an assumed name, but you don't forget Kath Wilson's face. Someone else will recognise her, sooner or later. Mr Riley, I'd advise you and your editor not to rush to print with this story. You may face some expensive legal consequences. And you may face a very angry and frightened community. Pass on my concerns to your editor. So how's he going with Hakimi? We had to bail him. The search team didn't find anything at his bed seat and he claims he wasn't even there when Keith Wilkins came round. Did you believe him? Well, I'm not sure, Gov. I mean, he's a drug dealer, all right, but there isn't anything to link him to permaladine. Now, this just came through from the incineration plant. It's a docket showing they received the full consignment of permaladine tablets from the drugs company. So they didn't go missing on route? No. And this is from the personnel office. It's a list of all the employees' names and addresses that were responsible for the destruction of the tablets. Flat 3, Baldock House, Brooker Street. Same building that you read in earlier. Absolutely. So it looks like Ali Hakimi's neighbour, Daniel Selhurst, works for the incineration plant. Now, that can't be a coincidence, surely. So what do you reckon? One procures the drugs and the other sells them on? Could be. Get down there, see what you can find out. Go. Any time, sir? Thank you. All right. Yes, Arch. No problem. You haven't seen P.C. Kapoor, have you? Yeah, well, I've heard of a Laura while you've been interviewed. The ethnics are needed to not bring in a suspect. Right. Yeah. Did you tell him about you all already, though? Sarge? The Gabriel Kent that came to the station yesterday. He's that ended up in intensive care. Oh, yeah, him. Right, Looney. Who is he? Wish I knew, Sarge. Laura said that you've come across him before, though. Oh, yeah, I have. Just at once. Don't know his name. Well, he knows you. What's that about? I was doing door to door on a Copthorne estate a few weeks ago and I noticed him following me around. Next thing I know, he's across the street knocking on doors. 
introducing himself as Gabriel Kent. So what would you do? I told him it was a criminal offence to impersonate a police officer and he just legged it. Don't remember reading anything like that in one of your reports? I didn't think it was worth the effort. Anyway, that was the last I saw of him. Until yesterday. So what did you speak about when you saw him before the siege? I read on the right act. Told him to stop mucking about and clear off. You took your time doing it. I heard you were talking to him for at least ten minutes. Well, it took me one minute to tell him to hop it. And the other nine minutes I had to listen to him whirring on about all sorts of stuff. I was on my way to social services when this whole hostage thing blew up, Sarge. And then he got shot. Sarge. It's a shame we don't know who he is. But then they'll be running his picture through the database, so fingers crossed it won't take long. Then, one more thing, Gabriel. I don't suppose you'd know why this Gabriel Kent would come in and ask for Sergeant Ackland, do you? Didn't realise he had. So where do you want me, Sarge? See what? Why don't you stay in here today? I saw the excitement yesterday, it'll probably do you good. Sir. How's Leslie? How did she react? She wasn't surprised, like it was inevitable. What else did you get? Did she say how they might have located her? Well, she doesn't leave the house if she can help it. She hasn't contacted anybody and no one appears to have followed her back home. Good. I spoke to Riley, the journalist. If he knows Kath Wilson's new identity, he's not saying so. And I think he would have, if only to get a reaction out of me. Well, that's something. I'm pretty sure he hasn't got her address either. If they haven't got any further leads, I might just let it go. Excuse me, sir, we've got a problem out front. I think you need to have a look. Tenants are very busy now. That's If you could just move back, please. Look, I'm sorry, you can't take pictures here. You're going to have to move away, okay? All right. Thank you, please, Sam. Superintendent Akaro, I'd like you to meet Marie Stimson. Mrs. Stimson. Mrs. Stimson has spent the last 20 years wondering what happened to her son, Mark. You may remember he disappeared around the same time as Robert Kelly, the other child murdered by Kath Wilson and her partner. I'm aware of the history, Mr. Riley. Understandably, Mrs. Stimson would like to hear your comments on the fact that Kath Wilson is now in your care. Lose the camera. If it was a fact, Mr. Riley, I would comment on it as it is. Oh, sorry, I forgot she's not called Kath Wilson anymore, is she? She now goes under the name of Leslie Palmer. I just want to know where I can find my son's body. Please, Mrs. Stimson, let's talk inside. Look, I'm genuinely sorry for your loss. But you must understand this is neither the time nor the place to discuss something so sensitive. I've had 20 years of excuses. 20 years of being fobbed off by the authorities. As far as I'm aware, Kath Wilson has always denied having anything to do with the disappearance of your son. She's never denied she used to babysit him. Her and that animal, Jensen. I let them into my own house, trusted them to look after him. And then one day I came home and he wasn't there. He'd gone. They'd taken him, and they'd never had the guts to tell me where. Nothing to say, Superintendent? No comment to make on your policy of protecting child killers? We need to get Leslie out of some hell now. Right, PC Bryant, you check on our friend Hakimi, flat number 10A. Right, Sarge. Mr. Selhurst? Sun Hill Police. Mr. Selhurst? Nice place. Pamaladine. There's a surprise. Sarge. Sarah Oscar from 437, ambulance please, flat 3, Baldock House, Brooker Street. Any sign of Hakimi? Received. Where am I going to be moved to? We don't know yet. 
Where's your suitcase? Upstairs. Go on then, start getting packed. I need to make a quick phone call first. What do you mean a phone call? Who to? Only take a minute. Leslie. I need to tell Fee what's happening. Fee's in Bristol. There's nothing she can do. Oh, Leslie, you're joking. I'm sorry, Joe. She couldn't hack it down there. I mean, she tried. She gave it her best shot. She didn't know anyone. How long's she been back? A couple of days. You lied to me. Yeah, because I knew you'd react like this. Fee and I are good friends, Joe. We shared a cell for 18 months. She hasn't got anyone. She's just a kid. You talk about her like she's some vulnerable innocent. <sighs> Remember, I've read her file. I've met her. She can look after herself. It's just a front. She grew up too fast. Seems to me like she's a lot less dependent on you than you are on her. Maybe. Is that what this is about? She was only little when I went inside. She'd never heard of Cass Wilson before she was put in the same cell as me. She never judged me. When she got banged up, I helped her get through it. And now I'm released, she's, she's just doing the same for me. I've been locked up nearly half my life, Joe. I don't know how to deal with this. The outside, I, I need a friend. Go on then, call her. Make it quick. She must have turned the phone off. Been put through to the answering thingy. That's okay. Just leave a message. V, it's me. We've got a problem. The press are on to me. The police want to move us as soon as possible. No, we're only going to move you, not her. Well, she's got to come with me. No way, Leslie. And I'm not going. Oh, don't muck me about. I'm serious, Joe. Either she leaves with me or I don't leave at all. Crime scene examiner reckons it's going to take another hour or so. Oh! They let us know what he's found out back at the Nick. Well, I've talked to Sal Ursa neighbour. She didn't hear anything, but about half an hour ago, she did see Ali Hakimi knocking on Sal Ursa's door. When Sal Ursa answered, Hakimi got quite aggressive and pushed Sal Ursa into his flat. So Hakimi beat him up? Well... Sal Ursa was the one who was supplying him with the pomaladine. Nora! Nora! Leslie, I understand how you feel, but we're out of time now. You've left her a couple of messages. There's nothing more you can do. We've got to get you out of here. This is because of this morning. Why? What happened? After you came round, I told Fee about the photo. I asked her if maybe she just mentioned me to someone. She went ballistic. Accused me of not trusting her, and then she stormed off. So she might be deliberately not returning your calls. She might not even be coming back. Of course she will. Just not sure when. Leslie, there's a car coming to collect you very soon. You can call Fee as soon as we've made sure you're safe. I've told you, I'm not going without her. Okay. Where do you think she might have gone? Not sure. This is what she does. She goes off. Wandering. Window shopping. Right. Doesn't exactly narrow it down. What's she doing here? Well, I'd ask you the same question, but there isn't time. Leslie's been recognised. I've got to get her out here. She won't leave without you, so you better go and get packed. You're joking, aren't you? I'm not going anywhere. Even if Hakimi did assault Selhurst, our priority is still got to be tracking down the rest of the Pomaladine. Yeah, well, easier said than done. We don't know where Hakimi is, and Selhurst isn't in a fit state to speak to us. Sarge. Yeah. So who's called? Keith Wilkins is conscious. Good. I'll get down there. But I don't want to go. We've got no choice. You've got no choice. Fee? I like it round here. I've made friends. Friends? Yeah. I've got a life. Yeah. Look, if you've got to go, then go. I don't want to go without you. 
Well, you're gonna have to. You can still keep in touch if that's what you want, but I can't be tied to you forever. You're not my mum. I'm gonna get my stuff. Fee? Better to let her go, Leslie. Please, talk to me! Get off! Fee! What you have done, you stupid cow. Where'd you get this? I was given it. Who by? Pete, if you must know. Pete Manning, that low life. He's asked me to move in with him. You've only known him five minutes. He couldn't afford something like this. Neither could you. I don't know what I have or haven't got. You've been talking to the London Post, V? No. What is the going rate for feeding them information on ex cons? Oh, V, you didn't. They only wanted one poxy photo. And Kath's new name. Have you given them this address? Of course not. Look, you said it yourself. It was only a matter of time before someone would recognise you. They didn't, though, did they? before you got in first with your photo. Go on. Get back to Pete. See how long he'll look after you. Go on! Leslie, we need to go. There's nowhere to go. I might as well front it out here. Nothing's going to change wherever I go. With all due respect, what is staying going to prove? I'm not ashamed of who I am. Really? Because if you ask me, it smacks of self-pity and martyrdom. Actually, Joe, I don't think I did ask you. What this reminds me of sitting in the cell under court one at the old bailey waiting for the jury to return its verdict happy memories then it's being in a state of limbo no control over everything it's like the judge said life really does mean life you've served one sentence leslie now it's up to you if you serve another one or not. I can't believe she's gone. I know. But I don't think she's coming back. So, what do I do now? We go now. And you get a chance at a life. I know it's hard out here on your own, but it will get better. What do you say? Okay. Hi. DS Nixon, Sun Hill. You feeling better, Mr. Wilkins? Just a little bit rough. They want to keep me in for observation. Well, it was a close call, wouldn't you say? I thought I was having a heart attack or something. <laughs> Did you know that you were allergic to certain antibiotics? Yeah. Well, I didn't think I was taking any. Well, obviously, we're very anxious to get these permaladine tablets off the streets to prevent this happening to anyone else. Fair enough. So I need to know where you bought them. Look, we know that you sometimes buy drugs from Ali Hakimi. I'm not sure I'm up to doing this right now. I'm not trying to trip you up, Keith. All I'm interested in is protecting other people from buying these drugs. It's in your interest to help us. Keith, just tell them. You almost died. It wasn't Ali. What? It was nothing to do with him, so why should he take the rap? I know you're not going to believe this. Ali's all right. <laughs> he wouldn't sell anything dangerous. He's not out to hurt anybody. <sighs> it's 
sure it was Ali I went to see, yeah? But he wasn't in. And this this bloke from one of the other bedsits heard me um, knocking on the door and calls me down to his place, yeah? Says he's got hold of some interesting stuff. So have you bought drugs from this man before? I'd seen him around, but I didn't even know he sold them. I'm pretty sure Ali doesn't know either. So which flat does this man live in? Number three, I think. Could you give me a description, please? Tall, medium build. He was in a, a blue T-shirt, jeans. Good. I'll need you to do a formal identification of that man. In the meantime, I need your help. Ali's gone missing. I need the names of other users you know by from him. I know a few people who score from Ali, not many. Well, that's a start. I just want to check if Mark had made it in yet for his interview. No, he hasn't. You know, the RPCC are pretty concerned that he hasn't turned up. I don't know where he is, Sarge. Shooting Clark yesterday really got to him. You see, the 19's a tough job at the best of times. But there is help available. He can talk to someone to help him through this. Has he spoken to you about it? Not really. He didn't sleep last night. Half a bottle of vodka left in the kitchen this morning. I'll tell you what, I know his duty sergeant. I'll give him a bell, see if he can stall the IPCC and they can interview him when he's good and ready. OK. Hang on. How are you doing? I just want to know all right. Then get yourself up. You sure? Yeah. Sounds like Mark could do with your support. Sure. Thanks, Sergeant. We've checked out the first couple of names on Keith Wilkins' list, but uh, no joy yet. Yeah, we'll keep you posted, Sarge. Right, who's next? Chris Wakefield, Granby House, first floor. Here, yeah, hang on a minute, A172AOS. Isn't that Hakumi's car? What's he doing here? What else? Business. Hello again, Mr. Hakimi. Hey, this isn't what you think. You're under arrest. Look, before you do that, I wasn't selling drugs. Oh, there's lots of facts. I'm trying to clear up the mess Selhurst has made. I don't sell bad drugs, only good ones, happy oh, drugs. Oh, very considerate of you. See, the rest you'll find in my car. I was trying to get them off the street, that's all. I don't want people dying. Did you give Selhurst a good beating for selling drugs on your patch? No, for risking my customers' lives. After you released me, I made some phone calls. I couldn't believe it. My clients said this guy had offered them tablets. Some of them had bought them. I was trying to get them back, make sure no one else got hurt. Except for Daniel Selhurst. He's always hated me, giving me a hard time. Says I'm just another foreigner making easy money. He obviously decided to get in on the action. Come on. Look, whatever you think of me, I didn't set out to hurt anyone. Selhurst didn't care if someone died or not. I do. We're still arresting you for assault. Fine, but promise me you'll get the rest of the drugs back first. Come on. That'll be the car. We're here to see Kath Wilson. No one of that name here. What about Leslie Palm? Sorry. Can you get your hand off the door? Damn it! It started then. Sir, DC Masters, the press have found the house. We need backup. Now. Wonders will never cease. Laura! Yeah? Seen a bit. 
Smith was asking about that nutter that came into the station yesterday, claiming to be me. Yeah? How did he know about it? Well, he asked me what I said in my IPCC interview and I told him. You do know it's unprofessional to repeat what's said in a confidential interview. <sighs> what I told Sergeant Smith was hardly confidential. Well, I think it was. And I'd rather you didn't discuss details of that investigation with other people. Especially when it involves me. Gabriel, I'll do what I want. I don't have to answer to you. No, you don't. Which is why I'm asking you to keep your big mouth shut. And if you don't, you will have to answer to me, all right? Everything all right? Fine, Sarge. Isn't it? PC Brian, have you got time to discuss that leave you requested? Yeah, sure. Okay, my office. Kent. Oh. So come on then. What just happened? I know something was going on. And if past experience is anything to go by, I'm betting that PC Kent wasn't the innocent party. He threatened me. Told me I had to keep quiet about what I said in my IPCC interview. He didn't like the fact I told you about it either. Okay. When we spoke earlier, you said that the gunshot victim came in looking for June Ackland and that he said his name was Gabriel Kent. When you told PC Kent about the bloke using his name, did you definitely tell him that he asked for June? Yeah. Now, when I mentioned that to Gabriel, he said that was the first he'd heard of it. <laughs> well, he's either forgotten or he's lying. I think we should compare notes. Notes? On what we know about PC Kent. I know that you've never liked him, but I don't know why. So between you and me, it's off the record. Tell me. Rumour or fact? I'll take wild theory, whatever you've got. OK. When he was assigned to the coal lane estate, I know for a fact, he sometimes took the law into his own hands. Punishment beatings, that sort of thing. And quite brutal stuff. OK. Anything else? Well, it can be weird. Scary weird. I won't argue with that. Now, if I tell you something, will you keep it to yourself? It's about June. She's got a son called Gabriel Kent. Yeah, look, I'm not meant to know nobody is. But all this time, I've been thinking that it was PC Gabriel Kent. What if the bloke who came into the station really is who he says he is? He came in looking for June. And PC Kent was desperate that they didn't meet. So you think he's June's son? So who's PC Kent? I don't know. Let's just hope that that bloke lying in ITU pulls through so that we can find out, eh? See what you can do for this person. Any comment now, Superintendent? Is this your doing? I can't help it if Marie's called in a few friends and supporters. And you did nothing at all to encourage her, I suppose. People will have a right to know they have a child killer living in their midst. I'm as concerned as the next person about the safety of our kids. Oh, yeah. Backup's here, Leslie. Everything's going to be fine. Get out of the way. Out of the way. Mrs. Stimson! I know she's in there. Bring her out. Let her face me. This is not doing anybody any good. Please, I just want to talk to her and find out where my son is. I have a right to know. Calm down. Look, where is she? Move back. All Mrs. Stimson wants is some answers, Superintendent. Where is she? She killed my son. What did you do with him? Oh, there she is! There she is! Get out of here! Right. That's it, Mrs. Stimson.
Roberts. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to have you arrested for criminal damage. PC Roberts. Sir, so okay. Mrs. Stimson's the criminal now, is she, Superintendent? Mrs. Stamp, I want this man out of here now. Sort it, sir. How do you feel about what you're being asked to do, Constable? I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I've got a job to do, just like you. I'm warning you under Section 5 of the Public Order Act. What do you think you're going to do? Arrest me? You've left me no choice. You ain't leaving your own accord, I'm making you. How is she? Ruffled. No, we're not going to be able to get her out of here until we get rid of this lot. Inside, we need to consider our options. It's all right, Leslie. It's all under control. Leslie? Leslie? Next time on The Bill. Maybe Leslie's not as innocent as she claims. And the last time these two got together, one child was killed and another went missing. We've got to talk. Sergeant Ackland's given me this. It's CCTV for the bloke we think might be a son. He said his name was Gabriel Kent. 